What is the kind of silliest explanation you've heard for why women can't direct? Partly about, you know, being the leader, being the father, being the person in control. And then it's also, I think, just trusting women with money. And people don't want to do that. And film costs a lot of money, so. Well, you know, I'm a documentary filmmaker, which is kind of a ghetto for women directors. Um, it's a place, you know, we end up at, I think, because of our subject matter, for one thing, and because we're pushed out of feature filmmaking or television direction. So I'm not, you know, I'm just like anybody else in the culture I hear about women not being able to, I don't know, handle action films or, I, I don't think there's really an excuse. I think there's, it's a matter of being like a very entrenched boys club and they just hire people like themselves. You know, they hire their friends, they hire their relatives, they hire people they feel comfortable with, um, with joking around, the language, hanging out. Uh, and I, I, I can only guess, that's it. <laughs> I don't, um, I don't because they're gonna cry. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't, I was like, why, why wouldn't they want it? I think with the structure of movies has changed, then the stories have changed and therefore like being a f more man-based society, I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. it's funny, I mean, they always say, oh, women are 51% of the world, don't forget, you know, and it's like, and I find women are great audiences in the theater, so hopefully, you know, I wanted to make something that I wanted to see, you know? It wasn't just about trying to say I'm a woman director.